now we're back into control once more and we're making our way to the mail room so that we can get what was it to the telephone so we can talk to the previous director about what the hell is going on There's a key nearby. Maybe. Nothing in the men's. It's not in the ladies. That telekinesis makes life so much easier. You're listening to America Overnight, mystifying the airwaves for more than 29 years. Many callers over the years tell us of hauntings, voices, and other phantasmagorical phenomena. Today, friend of the show, Dr. Quincy Reagan, tells his story. Quincy, thanks. This is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's Suspicion Con. I was in room mm -hmm. 47. The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Now, the manager explained that years back, the body of a man was discovered under the bed, inside that wooden border that motel beds tend to have. And the body had been there a week, he said. <laughs> Sleeping with a corpse a foot below him. They only found the body when people complained about the smell. Hauntings have been reported in room 47 ever since. Ooh. I happily took the room. I fell asleep pretty quick, checking under the bed first, of course. No ghosts visited me, no chilly spots or flickering lights. But when I woke up, I found myself under the bed. It was dark and stiflingly hot. Luckily, I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. The night manager was kind enough to find me another room. Oh, there you have it, listeners. What we call ghosts take many forms. Quincy was brave enough to tell his story, and I encourage you to keep calling and writing whenever you encounter something strange, something you can't explain. Maybe you're seeing colors that we have no name for. Maybe your posters possessed. Remember the listeners, when no one else believes. Creepy.
shoot this thing that's right in front of me. Those rangers are tough. Now, do I come in here for anything in particular? Uh. Launch a fist. Launch energy cost. That's actually not too bad. Data breach. Last month, our on-site server experienced an intrusion by unauthorized users. After a thorough investigation, it was confirmed that the user only accessed a video file, which contained portions of various Dr. Darling's presentations. Investigators were able to track these users through their IP addresses. The following are, current, are confirmed identities of these users. Patrick, Rubens, Arto, Christopher, Jacko. These individuals are in breach of Bureau Code 91 and have been placed under surveillance by our external investigation team. Further action is pending. Is that all that's in here? Access now. Weapon Mon. Exclusive to Spin Shatter Grip. Amo Refund Chance Hit. Oh. I didn't expect that to kill me that fast. This must open the door. So then, what was that room up there for? What is that in the back there? Well, if I don't need to worry about it, I'm not going to worry about it. Need more clearance to get through there, eh? Oh, 
That's not good. They can fly now. Great. Round two, let's go. They can fly now. Great. Internal lockdowns are manually triggered events that lock one or all sectors of the building. Yes, we already know all that. Might change my loadouts though. Extra health is definitely better. Fly now.
great. Blew myself up. can fly now. Tuck my head out just too late. They can fly now. Great.
Shit, that was close. They can fly now. Great. Where are you, Tomaside? There you are. Now we're making some progress. Don't run away. Just as I was starting to kick your the ass. Hotline should be past the mail room. There. <laughs> 
feeling better. Thought I saw something over there. Oh, this is just back where we came from. That's not progress. Just the second floor. Energy recovery speed, 21%. Hiss elevated. Hiss elevated agents display abilities similar to telekinetic competencies. competencies observed in burrow paranatural terrains. Some refer to the changes in the target, while others launch objects at them. Telekinetic attacks have been ineffective against the Hiss elevated yet, due to their own talent in the area. They do not use any weaponry except their own paranatural capabilities. Some Hiss elevated have been seen levitating while strapped to chairs. This is likely the result of individuals being corrupted while undergoing cognitive recording in parapsychology. How are they able to use paranatural abilities? Is it possible that these individuals were bound to objects of power prior to corruption? This, it's also worth considering that the Hiss resonance can identify and express latent paranatural abilities in individuals it corrupts. Okay. Uh, while searching a closet, an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent w was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house some days later, found in a sealed room by rangers exploring the new area of the house. The light switch cord to the Buett house, Holmes' closet, disappeared during this incident. Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. The hiss got him. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. They also damage their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examine the person. Honestly, what are the odds at all for that to show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? <laughs> the hotline can't be far now. Should be right around the corner.
guessing it's in that big circular chamber up there. So it's forward and to the right. Hotline chamber. The director's office is inaccessible at the moment. According to their testimony, the agents have been transported from the Boo at home to a roadside motel named Ocean View Motel and Casino, and discovered a room key by performing a ritual. The key opened a door marked with an inadvertent black pyramid, which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error. After pulling another motel cord found inside the room, they were transported to the oldest house. Oldest house. The disappearance from the home's owner and the other locals of the Buet have been attributed to the light switch cord. The Ocean Blue Motel is now known to have many doors and pathways. Since the occurrence, identical light switch cords to the one found in the Buet home have begun appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of writing, redacted light cords have been found in the oldest house, located in the redacted and redacted sectors. These all access the Ocean View Motel, though how exactly its length operates is redacted, but initial hypothesis center at the Buett AWE has a redacted C. Dr. Darling. There's lots of information here. Hotline security log. All visitors must check in. Trench was there twice. Bill Everett, our custodian's been through a couple times. Except for the last time on the 26th, it was Carol Bishop, a new custodian. Let me read that again quick. Director Trench. I wonder if custodian is another title. Like director is. a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road on the run under the radar this feels like all of them like something recognized from a dream hello anyone here Every time I ring the bell, a different door will open. Key has a black pyramid on it. Now that's cool. I 
was already in that one. This is cool. I really like this game. Janitor. Hello, hello. So what am I doing here? Okay, so how will the hotline allow me to contact them? I'm guessing not by standing still. But how do I contact it? I just have to avoid them. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. 
a direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. Hello, hello. How can we help you? A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. The hotline is a 1960s era red bake light telephone. The rotary dial has been replaced with a black knob of unknown purpose. The phone weighs redacted. The, the object allows the director to communicate with the redacted. If used by anyone other than the director, the object will cause lethal redacted. The object is currently bound to Dr. Trench. Background. The object spontaneously manifested in the director's office, placed on the desk. Director Northmore was the first known bureau agent to use it. A battery, tests, a battery of tests were run on the object, including redacted and redacted, but its origin remains unknown. Ocean View Motel and Casino is a familiar friend to me. I stayed in countless motels like it while investigating AWEs across the country, back in my field agent days. Those roadside motels all bleed together like a dream. Same and not the same. Anywhere and nowhere. The Ocean View operates on dream logic and the light switch cord leaks out to be found in the most unexpected places, and sometimes successfully encouraged to appear and act as a convenient lock to keep out those not trained in dreamscape navigation. Even Bureau veterans can only find one key in the motel, the key that opens the door marked with the inverted black pyramid. The rest, the many other doors, are still mysteries to us. We're all merely guests there. Even the board. Sometimes I need to visit just to breathe easier for a while. It beats the numb, sterile apartment I spend my nights in, insulated from everything but myself. I guess that's where the whiskey comes. Sweet. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. So now we have a shortcut here, I think. To all executive staff, I know there is some concern regarding our operation exceeding the annual budget. So long as we operate within the oldest house, we are obscured from scrutiny in many respects. 
If our budget demands are not exorbitant to the point of drawing attention, then they will be granted by the U.S. Treasury without question. The FBC is just another line in another spreadsheet that some lowly accountant won't even notice. Their eyes will skip over us as if we weren't there. The nature of the oldest house allows us certain freedoms and how do we operate. Our being here is no accident. Well, these guys all seem chill now that I saved them. Still no outfits. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? Sorry. You made it. I'm glad. Emily? You're excitable. Let's talk. Of course. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but... He's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If... You agree, that is. No, we thank you. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Exciting. So I probably need to find the janitor before I get to the Department of Maintenance. Because I imagine he has all the keys to the back doors. And what the hell is that?
another energy boost plus five, but I can't equip anything extra. Enter turn the lockdown. The emergency security measure is stopping Jesse from looking for Trench's missing management team in their other sectors. Jesse sets out to enter the maintenance sector to find the directorial override to lift the internal lockdown. Interesting. Initial impression impressions. Initial encounters with the entity known as the Hiss have revealed various behavioral facts. Most notably, the Hiss is able to invade or corrupt control points, altered items, and even humans, radically changing their behavior. Curiously, any person wearing one of the wearable HRA devices that Dr. Darling has been distributing over the past weeks are not affected by this corruption. The only known exception to this is the new director, Jesse Faden, who possesses an inherent immunity to the hiss. This could indicate that she has already been corrupted, but her behavior is so in contrast to that of the other hiss that I have dismissed this theory. My final observation comes from Ms. Faden herself. She is able to cleanse material and organisms of his corruption. We tested this ability on a his corrupted entity, but unfortunately, the process seems to kill the host. Perhaps the host's physiology becomes reliant on the his. More work to be done. So curiously, his only Deep became an official term. Someone's singing. Where is it coming from? Recently. Singing. Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. I heard the hiss attack the power plant. Brings up a lot of new questions. Are they communicating? Okay. Launch melee. Energy, health. Obscured weapon mod. Okay. What does this do? Health recovery. Nope. K. 
kill enemies with service matter weapon and shatter mode. Okay, so these are little bonuses we can do. Use guessing the hisses motives if we don't even know what kind of energy. What do you mean? It has to be a fusion reactor. I think we'll leave it right there for now, and we'll continue it in the next episode.